Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy. How would you like to run Android apps on your desktop or laptop computer without having to run them through the Android emulator? I would too, and that's what BlueStacks does. Let's go take a look. So after you download the BlueStacks app player for Windows, and this is in beta, so you're going to have to sign up to be a beta tester first. It's quick, it's easy, they send you an email, you respond to it, and immediately you've got access. Once you can download it, which took me a little while because their site is getting slammed right now with everyone trying to get in, well, then you get to this part where you set up your account. It asks if you have an Android phone, in this case I do. And it asks for my email address. We'll go ahead and type that in. And then my country code and phone number. Now, why is it asking this, you might want to know. Well, essentially what it does is it teams your Android-powered smartphone up to this and kind of synchronizes your, your apps between the two. So I'm going to go ahead and put my phone number in and we'll move on to the next step. So what that's done is it has sent a text message to my phone and it's given me a hyperlink to go to and install that uh, app that I already showed you if I didn't have it already. It also gave me a pin. That pin was mirrored up here on the screen and I just typed that into my phone and now the two are synchronized or, or synchronizing. You can put a check mark in there and tell it to sync with the cloud. It goes through and it cues my apps for syncing and there we go, there's all of my apps. Now that means that I should be able to access them over here and it is going to download and install. But what that's gonna do is it's gonna let me use my apps and ideally my paid apps as well, since this is still me, this is still one of my authorized machines, and all it's gonna do is let me run them over here on my desktop computer. Now, while those are synchronizing, you can see over here the icons are kind of bouncing up and down and I've got this little rotating arrow. Well, that means that it's synchronizing with the BlueStacks app player for Windows. When it does that, it comes down and in your notification tray down at the bottom of your screen, it shows you what has recently been installed uh, that were synchronized. So in this case, here's my barcode scanner. It's not going to be much good for me because I don't have a camera, but this is the same barcode scanner app that I have on my Android powered phone. So I've gone ahead and launched Angry Birds Space, which by the way, if you haven't played this yet, it is awesome. It's preparing the app for first use and it's asking me to wait. It says that I can press control plus or control minus to zoom in and out. That's kind of like your pinch to zoom and whatnot. Down here it says it's loading and that's gonna take just a minute and then I should be able to play Angry Birds Space, the Android version, right here on my Windows powered computer. Now you're saying, of course, you know, there's there's Angry Pig Space for Windows, but it costs quite a bit of money. I've already paid for it. This is the HD version of, uh, or it should be the uh, HD version of Angry Birds Space, so I should get really high def graphics. And let's see if I can uh, do this very good for you here. The pressure is on. So very fluid, very smooth, very nice. I can play it really, really easily. Uh, let's see what else I can do. First, we got to make sure I get three stars, of course, because that's what this is all about. So, yay. Now, it does not synchronize across my games. That's something that's more specific to uh, Angry Birds than it is to anything else. But it doesn't sync that. Down here in the corner, you've got your traditional back button and a menu button. In this case, menu's not doing anything for me. I've got this home button in the middle. It looks like a bunch of stacks, so we can go ahead and hit that. There's my Barnes & Noble Nook app, my Carrier Coverage app, Clouds & Sheep, Copilot Live USA, you know, just a whole bunch of apps that I already have installed. And if I want to find more, I can find more. It's downloading more that are coming over here. So really kind of cool, and I can run them right here on my desktop. Uh, let's see if we've got Gmail, shall we? So you can see kind of the utility here. There's my Gmail. I can actually use Gmail for Android on my desktop computer with all of its bells and whistles and everything that I like about that and carry that across to all the different kinds of apps that you'd expect or want to use on a bigger screen 
with a keyboard and mouse, you know, fast data entry and whatnot, that you can't do with a tablet or with a phone, at least not very easily. So overall, very, very cool. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I'm gonna spend the next few hours here playing Angry Birds Space. So uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, watch a couple more Pocket Now videos. For Pocket Now, showing off Blue Stacks App Player, I'm Joe Levi.